let's see. Okay. All right, so what I'll do right now, now as you start kind of creating this stuff, you guys, this is where ClickFunnels starts coming in. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know what ClickFunnels yet, ClickFunnels is a website builder that allows you to build not just a website, but a sales funnel. Okay, and there's a lot of types of sales funnels. There's opt-in funnels, there's sales funnels, there's, in fact, let me click, if I click on add new funnel, you'll see them all right here, right? An opt-in funnel, which is basically, it's a two-step funnel. Step one, someone gives me their email address. Step two, I thank them. Okay, and there's a sales funnel where somebody gives me their email address, then they give me their credit card to buy something, then there's a thank you page, and that's kind of the, the sales funnel. Then there's a webinar funnel, which a webinar funnel is what I'm gonna be helping you guys with here in an hour or so. Or there's an automated webinar funnel where you can take your recorded webinar and plug it into here. Then there's membership sites, there's launch funnels, a bunch of other things as well, okay? Um, but for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a membership site because, um, because this is where I'm gonna be storing my content. Okay, when Liz created um, her trading system, she created her, the, what people are paying her a thousand bucks for is a membership site she created inside of ClickFunnels. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna come here and click on Create Funnel. I'm gonna call this Life Hacking Secrets. And then call this Life, um, call it, you, this is a tag so I can remember what it is. I'm gonna call it Success, etc. Click on Create Funnel. So that's gonna create a membership site for me. Okay, now in the future, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be adding pages to this later on today, a bunch of other stuff. But right now, if you look at this, there's two pages, right? The first page is the page that somebody creates their account on. And the second page is the actual members area, okay? And we're in the process right now of adding a whole bunch of new memberships, uh, membership sites and stuff like that. So um, in the future, there'll be a bunch more. But right now, I'm just gonna pick one and pick this one right here called List Hacking Style. Click on Use This Template. And you watch this, guys. I'm going to build a membership site with you right now. It's really simple and really easy. So it's creating the whole thing. Boom. Membership site is created. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to edit and how to do everything here in a minute. But first, I need my system outline. Okay. So here's my system outline, right? Module one, module two, module three. So the first thing I need to do is I need to set up my module. So right now, module number one is how to double your learning in a weekend. So I might call that learn, let's call it. Um, speed learning, learn learn hacking. So first thing is the adolescent section. This is for a, for each module, okay? So adolescent section. All right, so I'm gonna call it module number one, speed learning. I think I can change it later, but boom. Now I created my first module. Now I'm gonna add my next module. Module number two. Module number two, energy hacking. I spelled energy wrong. <laughs> now module number two is done. Okay, now module number three I'm gonna build out. And so let's go through here and I build out um, the modules that you created in your system outline. And you got them there, right? So that's the first thing is building out the modules. Now I need to add the content to each of these different modules, right? So I'm gonna click here on add new lesson. Pick my thing, so module number one, speed learning. Now what do I wanna name my first lesson? So what I like doing, let's see if I can find that in my outline again. Okay, right here. So what I like doing is, typically what I will do when I create a product, is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna have a lot of like sub, like sub training, right? So I'm gonna, do, do an interview with Howard Berg, I'm gonna do an interview with the memory guy, I'm gonna do an interview with Jim Muckle, and have different, more content for that module. And so what I typically do is, is after I interview all three or four of these guys, then I go back and I create um, like a master class of me kind of taking a brain dump of all the stuff I learned, like a summary or overview or kind of like a system of this, of this module, right? So what I will do is like, usually my first one's gonna be, um, gonna be, uh, we'll call it, um, uh, we'll call it Speed Learning Master Class. Okay, page template. Uh, let's do video lesson, drip delay. So this is if you want it to unlock after like immediately or whatever. So I'm just gonna put it on, on uh, let's see, on zero. That means as soon as they buy, they get immediate access. So I'll create that. Boom, now this is lesson number one they'll get after they, they sign up, Speed Learning Master Class. Now what I like doing now it's trying to figure out how to make this, like I wanna always add like more value and just make it 
better and better and better people, right? So I'm gonna come back through and like, what else can I create? So uh, W reading. So I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do an interview with Howard Berg. That'd be really really cool. So I'm gonna add another lesson inside of module number one. So I'm gonna add another lesson. Module number one. And I'm gonna call this double your reading, Howard. I also called W reading. Oops. Page template. Video lesson, drip delay. I'll get to it immediately. So I'll put on zero. Create lesson. Boom. Now I got W reading here. Okay. What's the next thing I want to teach my my people? Right. Next thing I want to teach them. Pull my system outline back in here. For some reason, Mac's giving me headaches. I'm moving things from monitor to monitor. Um, all right. Well, I know what it is. So I'm just gonna so add my next lesson. So my next lesson here will be. Module one, um, memory, tension, page template, video lesson, and then zero. Boom, I got my third one, okay? You see how I'm doing this? I'm kind of adding in all the different the different content I wanted to put in module number one. Okay, then same, I'll do the same thing with energy hacking, right? So I'll add a new lesson here. It's gonna be for module number two. Okay, earlier we talked about having um, understanding fats. Actually, first I'd be I'd be master class, right? So energy hacking master class video lesson, boom. Okay, I got that. So I got um, speed learning master class, energy hacking master class. Now, what are my sub my sub trainings? I'm gonna put in here um, module two supplementation. Talk about video lessons, boom. Okay, but see, well, all of you guys, I'm creating out my, my system outline now here inside of ClickFunnels. Okay, now this is going to be a, a, a membership site. And, and what's right now uh, looks simp- like pretty simple. I'm just going and creating all of the, uh, the different, the different uh, everything from my system outline over here in ClickFunnels. Now after it's done, let's say, okay, here's lesson number one. Now I'm going to add the content for that. So I come over here and I click on open an editor. And it's going to pop open. And pop open the content. So when somebody clicks on that training inside of my members area, this is what they're going to see. In fact, hold on, it's not working very well for me because it does sometimes when I have my I have the screen blown up. So let me get back to 100%. It should work. Okay, so I click right here on open editor. All right, there it is. So this is what that, when they click on that inside the members area, this is what they're gonna see. Okay, so the first thing is this right here. So I'm gonna change this now to uh, um, Speed Learning Master Class. By the way, guys, before ClickFunnels, we all had to do this, man. We had to have techie programmer guys do this. Now, like, you, anyone can do this. I can do it, um, which, is, which is really cool. So a system overview of how to learn fast. Right there's that. Now I got to put my video in here. Now I haven't created my video yet, but if I had created my video, all I would do is I would go and I would upload it to YouTube. Okay, when you upload to YouTube, you guys, one thing that's kind of cool. What if I can show you real quick? So you, after you create your video in Camtasia or ScreenFlow, you just drag it and boom, drop it right here. In fact, I'll grab a random video. Let me see. Here's a random video. So I'm gonna drag a video off my desktop. I drop it here and it's gonna start uploading it. And then what I can do right here, I click on. Uh, making it unlisted. If it's unlisted, it means people cannot find it. Okay, if they can't find it, then uh, then uh, I can use it inside of a members area. Okay, and I can change my title and description and stuff. And when it's done, this is the page my video is going to be on. Okay, it gives me the page, even though it's still uploading it. Now I'm going to come down here and I click on. Oh, it's not going to let me share it until it's live. So I'm not going to share it yet. So let me go back here. So I'm going to cancel because I don't want this video to upload. So I'm canceling it. Oh, let's close it. I'm not gonna do it live because it'll slow you guys down. But if I was doing that, after it's after it's live, then it's gonna be on YouTube, right? And YouTube will give me the video. So let's just say, let's see, let me find a cool one. Let's just say this was my video, right? I don't even know. Four hour body. We'll just okay. Let's say this is my this is my master class video. So I just go to YouTube to my hidden page. I click on share. Click on embed, and I need to make sure I take off 
for some reason, my always messes up. So I just go to embed. I'm going to copy this, this link. And I come back here into, let's see, where's ClickFunnels at? Come back to ClickFunnels. I click on the little video player right here. And it's going to say video embed. I just delete whatever's there now and I paste this little YouTube code. Boom. And now my YouTube video is right there. I can right here, I can say, uh, here is the hand handouts for lesson number one. If I want, I can add resources in here. I can do all sorts of stuff. If I want, I can add more. I can uh, I can add in more columns. I can add in um, all sorts. I can add in I can add more images, headlines, social. Anyway, I can I customize this to be whatever I want, right? But there it is. I create this whole thing, and then save it. And now I can close that. Now the content's done for lesson number one. Then I go back. I create lesson number two. Make the video. Come back here to ClickFunnels. Click on Open an Editor, and I'll just edit these little pages here. Drop the video in there. Boom. And now I got lesson number two done. Does that make sense, you guys? And I go through until I've created my entire system. Okay, my flagship product, the thing I'm going to be selling for anywhere from five hundred to thousand dollars on my webinar. Okay, and that, you guys, is how you create your system. Does that make sense? Okay, now I can do other editing options. I can click right here in my members area. I can open it in an editor and I can do a bunch of other editing. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now because I don't think that's important. I think the important part to understand right now is just creating the system outline, building out here inside of ClickFunnels. After it's built inside of ClickFunnels, then taking the content you create, creating these videos, and then posting them in here. And boom, very, very quickly, within a week, within two weeks, you have your entire master class, your entire training system done and finished. Okay, and now you got something you can go and you can sell somebody. All right, is that simple enough, you guys? And again, we'll we'll do uh, when when you guys um, uh, after the forty eight hours after this class is over and we send you access to the members area. Um, I'll have some specific videos that go into a lot more depth about how all the rest of the technical stuff about setting these things up. I just want to show you really quick and easy how easy it really is. Okay, and so uh, that was kind of the the game plan there. All right. Okay, some of you guys said the screen may be frozen, so I apologize for that. Um, I, I did record this. Again, it's always recording, so if, this, if we missed it all, um, you'll be able to see it on the, on the replay. So I apologize. You never know what's going to happen with technology. you got to love it sometimes, right? Okay, let's see. Where are we at? All right. Now, a lot of people get stuck, like, what I put in like my video trainings? What should it be? And so I'm going to show you kind of what I do in my videos that uh, I think make it kind of simple and easy. Um, the first thing is I put in the content, like like what is it? So, hey guys, I'm going to teach you guys uh, my, how, how I do energy hacking, right? So I kind of talk about that that concept as a whole. Then typically what I do, I like sharing a parable. Because if I just tell you like, here's how we do this, it, it gets really, really boring. If you want people to, to engage with you and listen to your, your presentation and be excited, um, I like sharing stories or parables, okay? You've noticed during this training in the last two and a half hours, I've shared tons of parables, tons of case studies, tons of things to get, to make these things seem real with you, right? I share stories like I shared Jacob Hiller's story. I shared um, uh, Jermaine Griggs. I shared Liz's story. These are all parables to make this concept all seem real for you. Okay, so I talk about what it is. I share a parable to get people excited, make it real and tangible. Then I can go teach the concept. And then I like at the end show an example of here's how it all works. Here's the finished version of what I just did. So when I'm creating the content for each of these pieces, for each of the things going in there, um, that's kind of uh, that's that's kind of what what I try to do. Okay, so I'm making an hour long video teaching teaching whatever that thing might be. Maybe it's my double your reading or my memory retention. That's kind of what the outline I use when I'm creating that content. So what is it? Here's a story or a parable I can share to illustrate this as an example, get you excited. Here's the concept. Here's the steps. Here's how it, how it works. Let me show you an example of this happening live. And that'll give you guys a good framework to kind of go and build this build this out. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right, so what I'm going to do, you guys, yeah, I'm going to do this because we've been going on for two and a half hours, and I'm pretty sure if any of you guys are in the spot I'm at, you probably need a, a quick stretch, bathroom, uh, rest break, or whatever it might be. So let's do this. I'm going to break for 10 minutes. Um, so in 10 minutes now, we're going to come back in. I've got um, two more things to talk about on the content piece, and then we're going to start transitioning over to the pitch, over to the webinar, okay? So... Um, that's when it starts getting, at least for me, that's the most exciting part because then here's the actual webinar where you're going to be selling someone and, and doing all of those pieces together. So that's where we're going to be going uh, next. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so let's take a quick 10-minute break 
and I'll meet you guys back here in 10 minutes to kind of go into the next step. All right.